Okay, here we go. Question two. So, a company receives telephone calls at random at a mean rate of 2.5 per hour. Okay, first things first. What distribution are we using? So, in this case, we're finding the mean rate. So, this can only mean the Poisson. Because the Poisson distribution only works with the lambda, which represents the mean rate. Okay, so this means that the lambda here is 2.5. And this is x per hour, yeah? Per hour. So that's very important to know. Now, A, find the property that the company receives at least four telephone calls in the next hour. So this implies the property that X is at least or greater or equal four in the next hour with this parameter here. So to use the table directly, we need to rewrite it in the less than or equal form. So to do that, well, if it's greater than four, then we can just say the reverse, which is 1 minus x and less than equal than 3 because this is 4 onwards we want 3 backwards now doing that it's quite easy so 1 minus now all we do is just go to the tables find x less than equal 3 and remember to follow the lambda so look at the Poisson find 2.5 and then go down to 3 and it should be and even tell you here this is the tabulated value less than equal x so this should be it so 7576 so 75, 76, and that should give us minus 75, 76, 24, 24. So point two four two four. Easy. Now find it now part two. So exactly three telephone calls in the next 15 minutes. So this is the property. Let me change the color pen. That x equals three. In the next 15 minutes, so this is a new distribution. Notice how the original is per hour. This is 15 minutes, so this is four times less. So you would have to divide this by four to make it correct. So in your calculator, do 2.5 over four. This will give us a mean rate of 0 0.625. So now we have a new distribution, a Poisson with mean um, 0 0.625 per 15 minutes. So always note these down. Now this is going to be equal to, so here we, we have to use a formal definition. The formal definition is always, I can write down here, property x equals x is going to be e to the minus lambda, which is the parameter, times lambda to the power x over x factorial. In this case, x must be integer because Poisson and, and binomial only accept integer numbers, yeah? Otherwise a factorial wouldn't work. So now plugging this in, so for x equals 3, we're going to have probability x equals 3, which is equal to e to the minus lambda, which is 0 0.625. And then times 0 0.625 to the power of 3 over 3 factorial. You should get 0 0.0218. I believe, yeah. So I'll go something like that. Okay, here we go. Part B. So, find to the nearest minute, okay, so we need to change that to hours minutes later, the maximum length of time that the telephone can be left unattended, so, so that the probability of missing a telephone call is less than 0 0.1. Ha, huh. so this is a bit funny because this is talking about missing a telephone call, so it's actually a, a reverse statement. So, the probability of leaving a call under, unattended is, zero point, is um, x equals 0, meaning no calls, but to miss a call, as well would be the opposite, would be 1 minus this terminology. So 1 minus not picking up the call. So this is <laughs> going to be a higher probability. And all of this must be less than 0 0.2. So this would be our statement. We also need a new distribution as well because we're working a time. Let's let the new time variable be t, yeah? Because we want to find out exactly how many hours per t. So t per hours or t per minutes. So it'll be x is a Poisson distribution with mean 0 0.2.5 t per hour. So once we once work out the t value, we can work out the number of minutes that can be missed. So let's have a go. Okay, hopefully you guys are following me with this one. So let's rewrite the statement, yeah? So what do we have? Um, yeah, so you could actually, throw, let's, just re, let's just throw this on the other side, yeah? Well, let's keep it as this. So you've got 1 minus the property x equals 0. So using a Poisson distribution, it will be e to, the, e to the minus lambda, so e to the minus 2.5t times lambda, which is 2.5t to the power 0, 
of a zero factorial. Okay, and all of this should be one. <laughs> so I don't know why that's even there. And all of this would be less than 0 0.2. Now this is just a case of solving. So we need to make t the subject. So what we could do is plus this to the other side and subtract 0 0.2 to the other side. So we have 1 minus 0.2 is 0 0.8, less than e to the negative 2.5t, taking the natural log on both sides. So we've got ln 0 0.8 is less than ln of this and that will drop so be minus 2.5t and now throwing now inverting the position so throwing 2.5t to the other side so be a positive 2.5t because that sometimes working inequalities can be messy and throwing this to the, the natural log to the right side will be minus ln 0.8 and that's it now all you do is simply divide 2.5 across so you're going to have t is less than minus ln 0.8 over 2.5 put this in the calculator and you should get 0 0.0892 dot 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 five seven dot 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 hours and to convert this to minutes well just times your result by 60 and you should get the time to be less than 5.355 minutes five five minutes Okay, part C. So the company puts an advert in the local newspaper. So according to this statement, the number of telephone calls received in a randomly selected two hour period after newspapers published is 10. So let's just write this down here. Yeah? So this is just a statement, okay? Again, it's not, it's not an average. So according to the statement, um, for a randomly selected two hour period, we can assume that the Poisson distribution, if it was 2.5 calls per hour, would be double, so it'd be five calls per hour okay so that's where we begin now test at the 5% level of significance whether or not the mean rate of telephone calls has increased now we're just looking at one okay and apparently it seems to be far greater than the average rate which is five this paper seems to have at least got 10 so we can test using the distribution tables the property that x is greater than equal than 10 okay but we also need to state our hypothesis clearly so before we even do all this we can even say let the null hypothesis and the and the alternative hypothesis be represented by the mean rate equal to five or if the mean rate has increased so it'll be greater than five okay so this is where we're going at the reason why it's greater than five because we're looking we're testing whether then the mean rate of course has increased from let's say five to the, the published uh, statement of ten so let's check this out. Let's just go have a look what property x greater than equal to 10 is. Well, first things first, because we're using tables, it has to be written in the less than equal form. So if this is 10 or greater, we need 9 or less. So this would be 1 minus 9 or less. Now let's go ahead and look at the tables for for for, um, pro, for Poisson 5 and um, 9. Okay, let's have a look. So, yep, so lambda is 5 over here, perfect, and we're looking for x equals 9. Oof, so it's quite close, isn't it? Alright, so this is what they got. So we're looking at this. So let's have a look. So it'll be 0.9682. So that's what the property x less than equal 9 equals. So let's 9682. So it'll be 1 minus 9682. So this already, to me, this already looks less than 5%. So... I mean, I already know what the statement is, so let's have a look. So we got 0.318. Oh god, that would be a fatal error. 0.318, and this is clearly less than 5%. Now the whole point of this is that when you want to reject a specific null, we need to test whether the p-value is less than 5%. The p-value is the probability value, so it's this. And yes, it's less. So because it's less, we can comfortably say that there is enough evidence. So we always say that there is enough evidence or sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis, to reject HO. So if we can reject HO, this implies that we have to accept that this statement is correct, that there is enough evidence to suggest that the mean rate of telephone calls has increased to 10, or at least has increased, that's three enough. And that's it. So make sure you say this statement plus that there is enough evidence that the mean rate of telephone calls has increased. 
Saying all of this will nab you two marks. If you only say this, you get one. So please make sure you say both if you want the full marks. Anyway guys, hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Ciao.